Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933 here, and in today's three-minute tutorial, we're going to take a look at RIP versions and a little something else. So even if you think you're really knowledgeable and really comfortable with those RIP versions, uh, keep watching this video, because what I'm going to do is really share with you the number one thing that I wish someone had told me when I was studying for the CCNA. You know, it's what I try to do in all my courses is say, you know, what would I have liked to have known that no one told me back then? And I'm going to tell you all of that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and bring the live pod up. And today, all I've done, we're running RIP over a hub and spoke network. Router 1's our hub, 2 and 3 are the spokes. And let me show you, actually I've already got it up there for Router 3. And let me just show you this one RIP route that I have Router 1 advertising. It's simply a loopback address and I have left everything else at the default. So let me ask you this, just a quick pop quiz. Without doing show config, how can I see what those default RIP versions are that are in use? There's a command that's very helpful for that. And by the way, you better know this cold <laughs> before you take the uh, NA exam. It's show IP protocols, and here's what I meant to tell you, uh, or want to tell you that you need to know cold are these default versions for RIP because it's a little odd. We have the two versions of RIP. You're familiar with that, version 1 and version 2. You know the differences between the two, but it's not a simple default. We're sending version 1 updates, but we're accepting versions 1 and 2. Now, as you'll learn in your NP studies, you can also change that on a per interface basis, but for the NA, don't worry about that because we're going to change some versions right here. But again, show IP protocols will show you what RIP versions are being accepted and which ones are being sent. So we know then if we've left the defaults at their default, we know that RIP, excuse me, router 1 is sending a version 1 update to router 2. But what if router 2 were configured to only send and accept version 2 updates? Well, let's go ahead and fix that. Or break it actually, I should say, router RIP version and that's the command right there one or two those are your only choices and then you have version two now I'm gonna go ahead and do a clear IP route after we look at the table because one of the problems with RIP is that it converges very slowly so when there's a change in the network even as simple as this one it's gonna take a while for that route to age out you can see it's already past the 30 second mark here but we also know that RIP sends updates every 30 seconds by default. So we know something's wrong when we see that timer go over 30 seconds. So I'm going to run a clear IP route asterisk to clear that route out, or all our dynamic routes, and then do a show IP route. And you, know, you see that route's gone, and you know why, because we've got a version problem, but what if you were just sitting down at this router, and there had been a change that you didn't know about? How would you see that that had happened. Well, I would run debug IP RIP. And I'm going to do a clear IP route asterisk here to force the routing updates. This is what I wanted to tell you, and this goes strictly for your home lab use. You never practice debugs at work, ever, ever, ever. But practice them at home, because this really shows you what's going on beyond trying to just memorize a lot of commands. And one thing you can see right here is that we ignored a version 1 packet, and the debug even shows us exactly what the issue is. It's illegal version. So again, I know the debugs can be a little intimidating, especially at first, because you're trying to get all the commands down. But in that home lab environment, or you're working with GNS3, any program that allows you to run a debug, run them as often as you can. It's amazing how helpful that is on exam day. And if we wanted to go ahead and get the routes back, of course, we could just use the route command, excuse me, the version command under RIP to do so. And we can verify that change again with show IP protocol. You can see now that we're sending version 2 and receiving version 2. It's just that simple. So get into those debugs in your home lab work. It really helps out. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933.